everyone. Hi, it's me again, it's Rebecca. Welcome back to Beyond the Plate RVA. I'm so excited to be with you on this special episode of Beyond the Plate. We are doing Super Bowl 56 coming up. So we're doing a tailgating episode, y'all. This is our tailgating episode. And I'm so excited to bring with you today, to you today, excuse me, our special guest. This is Chef John Walker, also known as Bodyguard. And he looks like a bodyguard. And my production assistant, this is her daddy, y'all. She's gonna be working with us today too. What are we doing today, Lakeisha? We are making pesto basil meatballs. That's what I'm gonna Ooh. do. And then I'm also gonna make a mozzarella meatloaf. It's pretty much a heart attack and a pain. I love that. And you're gonna be making Chef Bodyguard. I'm making my garlic parmesan chicken. Mm. And it has onions and peppers and garlic, and fresh mozzarella and parmesan cheese on it as well as um, fresh garlic and Ooh. minced garlic. And we have um, some roasted garlic. Oh, you're gonna show us all that when we're yes. putting it together, right? Yes, and then we also it's have all this good. And fresh, fresh, fresh whipped cream as well. Oh Lord, this is gonna be so exciting. Okay, so we're doing this because we wanna give you guys great ideas about what to prepare for the Super Bowl. So my team didn't make it in 49ers, and as you can see, neither did the chefs. Anywho, we ain't been there in years. <laughs> For those of you who love football and want to do something real cool for tailgating, so let's get started. Lakeisha, let's start these meatballs. I'm super excited. And while Lakeisha's doing the meatballs, Chef is going to be getting this chicken ready, right? Yes, okay, I am. Okay, so go ahead and do what you got to do, Chef, while I find out about these meatballs. Okay, why meatballs for a tailgating dish? Meatballs are simple, they're yes. fun, they're tasty, and you know, they're, they're quick. This is very true. And how'd you come up with this idea, this recipe? Well, clearly I like to eat. Ah, well, you know, we all do. So, <laughs> you go ahead and put it in the oven. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. So, what I'm going to do, I just got some ground beef. Okay, wait, is that 80 20, 90 10? Does it matter? It matters, but um, I did not look to see <laughs> what it was. So, it's I like 80 20. 100, 100. No, okay, I like that. I like 80 20. <laughs> so, let's roll with it. What else are we putting in there? All right, so we're going to start with some besto, I mean, excuse me, some. Basil. Basil pesto. Ooh, I love it. Okay. And how many? Okay, are you another chef that doesn't measure? I don't measure a thing. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna dump it in there. Two. That looks like two big heaping teaspoons. Okay, yes. three big heaping teaspoons. Okay, I love that. I'm gonna go with four. Four big heaping teaspoons. Okay, four. And what else? Oh my goodness, that looks smells good already. I well, wish you guys could smell the kitchen. We won't already. get that anymore. It disappeared. <laughs> That's okay. And then we have. I'm going to use a little bit of Mexican four cheese, just, just a little bit. Okay. Just a little bit. Did you teach her how to do this or she came up with it on her no, own? No, that was her own recipe. That was her own recipe? Yeah. Chip and off the old block. <laughs> I love it. Okay. And Ooh. then I like Himalayan pink salt. I noticed that you both have... We got something in common. Oh my goodness. One <laughs> thing in common. Well, why the, why the pink, pink salt? Why, what's different? It's healthier for you. If you Google... Himalayan pink salt, it has so many things that help you with cramps, mm -hmm. okay. helps you with bloating in your stomach. It has so many health benefits. Please Google it. Himalayan. Himalayan pink salt. Pink, pink salt. And you use that in everything you make? Pretty much? Uh, or special it's pretty much a favor. Okay. All right. And I use it. I don't use table salt for anything. So oh, okay. I like Himalayan salt. And now this one has, see, I like to do a combination. Right. So this one has the black pepper and garlic oh, already in Oh, okay. It. I didn't know it so, came in a combo. I've always seen it just like this. See, well, I see, found I'm old mine school. special. You're old school. I got the black pepper and, and garlic. And I'm old school. <laughs> old school Wait, well, now this is interesting. How Look, the old school This is school old cooks. school dolphins, new no, school that dolphins. Is, that is old school dolphins. I didn't want to say nothing. Old school, new school. <laughs> okay. Old school okay. versus new school. That's we're, what this is talking about. We're not judging. We're not judging no, at no, all, sir. No, You're too big for me to be judging. No. Okay, so, <laughs> and then we put in our egg. Yes, I'm going to use one egg. One egg. So when you guys do, um, I know you might not be a big football fan, but clearly he is. So when you are preparing for the big Super Bowl, is this like, is it like your thing to like always be in the kitchen doing it up real big with, with the food we're eating today? I'm always in the kitchen. He's always in the kitchen? Is he always Either in eating or cooking. <laughs> That's where he lives. <laughs> in like, the kitchen, right? Just like the commercial, the guy from the Steelers say, I'm always working. I'm always in the kitchen. He's always in the kitchen. Well, I, I can't wait to Never see. trust a skinny cook. Oh! <laughs> say Never that. trust a skinny say cook. Say that again for the people in the back. Never trust a skinny cook. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay. And so for extra crunch, you can use Ritz crackers or you oh. can use um, bread crumbs. I, I Ritz really crackers. like seasoned. Breadcrumbs, right. So, did she learn this from you too, Chef? 
No, I think she learned that from her mom. Oh, okay. Her meatloaf recipes, and she tweaked what she learned from her mom and made uh -huh. it her own. Okay, so mm -hmm. this was a house growing up where you were always seeing cooking. Yes. Mom and dad, we always cooked. I took turns, but I mean, I was always on the road, so when I cooked, they loved it. Okay, yes, tell us about, we're going to talk about that, where you're, where you, what you do for real, for real, uh, on the side, but now you're just blending it all together like so you're doing. Just blend everything together. Mm. And we normally play music but while we're cooking. We, yeah. What kind of music do you like to play while you're cooking? I'm an old fan oh, of Parliament right. Funkadelic. Oh Lord, why did we put on the Parliament Funkadelic today? Hey, flashlight. <laughs> Stop I light. Oh, I, listen. And not just needy. Not oh Lord. Well, you know, I, I'm a fan of that kind of music too. I don't have a problem. Have you ever okay. heard the Brides of Funkenstein? No. Never that? buy Texas from a cowboy. <laughs> Never buy Texas from a cowboy. Good. What does that mean? <laughs> no, it's 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 a song. It's by really? a group. Parliament Funkadelic had different groups underneath it. They yes. had the Brides of okay. Funkenstein, and, and one of the things the Brides of Funkenstein came up with is this song called "Never Buy Texas from a Cowboy." Oh my goodness! It starts off saying, "Just because you've been to school is no reason to be a fool." Oh. So that's also where you get the bodyguard from as well, Daddy. So tell me a little bit about yeah, the Yeah, let's, let's find well, out about this name, this nickname, while she's prepping Back in the day when I wasn't getting the proper income that I needed to support mm -hmm. my family, I, I bounced and I worked in a rucker shop. And that's oh. how I got the name Bodyguard. Bounce. Then oh, I wow. started driving tractor trail and that's where I'm at. Okay, so, but I heard you have a moniker, though, for the bodyguard. It's called What's in the... What's in the pot, Bodyguard? <laughs> about like the cooking yeah you do? well i have my my family will call me and they said man what you cooking i said oh, man okay. don't ask me what i'm cooking ask me what's in the pot bodyguard <laughs> and if what's i'm the... outside i say what's the deal with the grill bodyguard oh my gosh okay he is a grill master and so we're going to talk about that too day. yes okay so while you're putting that together let's talk about the sauce what we're going to do with this sauce all right, I've got butter, I've got cream cheese, I've got Ooh, um, whipping. whipping cream, I've got this garlic here because I've used the fresh garlic in the chicken. And mm, when I cook okay. the chicken, I actually pull the skin back and I put fresh garlic underneath the skin so it could go into it. I put a little roasted garlic and herb in there. Okay, is this a th uh, chicken thighs or? Yeah, I got uh, quarters. Quarters. Oh, leg, yes. leg quarters. Oh, no That's one. what I have. I don't know why I asked so, that question. <laughs> we're going to start off with a little Ooh, bit of butter. That ain't no little bit of butter. Well, I'm not going to use all of it. <laughs> okay. Just just maybe about a quarter stick. A quarter stick of butter. About a quarter stick of butter like is what we're going to start okay. off with. Quarter stick of butter. Is that a skillet skillet? Oh. Lord, I know I'm really in the cooking place. Am That's I talking sexy skillet. to you now with a real skillet? <laughs> That's a skillet, y'all. <laughs> Okay. And, and this ain't one you can hit nobody with. Dang. Well, then that ain't really skillet. Because this take two hands to handle this water. Oh, no, that's really a skillet. Oh, that's a take skillet. Take two skillet. hands to lift oh, this skillet. Okay. We we'll start off with that butter. And okay, then we want to add butter. a little bit, a little garlic in it. Okay, that's minced garlic, right? Yes, that's it is. It's minced garlic. garlic. Keep in mind, I already put the actual garlic underneath the uh -huh. chicken skin. Ooh. I pulled it back and put a little seasoning on it. We will put one teaspoon. You don't measure Maybe one either. and a half. He don't measure either. They I say measure. one and a half. One okay, one and a half teaspoons. Okay. Ooh, I wish I could smell already what, what I'm smelling in this house. It smells so good. Oh, my goodness. Okay. And so we melt that butter with that garlic. Ooh, God, it yes. smells so good. We start off with that. Mm -hmm. Let this kind of like simmer up a little bit until that butter melts. And once that butter melts, that's when we add the cream. Wow. Ooh, Lord, I, it just hit me, y'all. We having heavy cream, butter, and garlic on top of some cheese. You don't cut corners over here. I don't, I don't know. I don't want you to, not today. I want your taste buds <laughs> to dance. Oh, and they're, and they're dancing already. They're, they're, they're twerking, but I won't do that on camera because ah. I'm going to be embarrassed. Oh. <laughs> I won't do it. But I love that. Okay, so that's cooking up. And how did you come up with this recipe? Well, to be honest with you, as a shout out to my daughter-in-law, I learned how to make the Alfredo sauce that goes on top of this garlic parmesan Alfredo sauce. I learned this from Ooh. my daughter-in-law. Okay. Guess what Lakeisha Martin Walker. What? Her name is Lakeisha as well. So oh, I got Lord. two Lakeishas in my life. <laughs> okay. Okay. Poor she you. taught me how to cook this. <laughs> okay. I already knew how to cook the chicken. Right. And the potatoes is a known fact. For if you ever come to one of my barbecues in the summer, springtime. You're going to have the potatoes. I always have potatoes. Which we're going to see in a minute. Oh, oh no doubt. No doubt. Okay. So now we got... Well, I'm gonna add the cream to it. Now, how much of the cream are we adding? Um, Don't I'm ask, not, just pour? Maybe about a third of this cotton. 
Because okay. I got to cover some, pretty much chicken. I want your, your taste buds to taste it. My taste buds are already happy. And so those, now, now we're going to do what with those? We are going to put these in the oven. At what temperature? I like to bake them at 400 for about 15 to 18 minutes. So Ooh, pretty okay. much 15 for me. Um, but Ooh, go ahead and put them in there. Let me step on over here. Okay, I, I, let I, me I'm, move this I'm over. happy right. with the smell uh, of food already. Let me move Ooh. this over Ooh. to the side so you can have a little room. I will share my kitchen with my daughter. <laughs> I was going to ask, you guys sometimes find yourself like fighting for uh, oven space to put y'all's treats in? Uh, Most of the time I cook and bring it over. Okay. <laughs> today's special. Yeah, today's a special Because you don't want to yes, fight them for, your, for the oven space. Okay, I like that. All right, so All right. now we got, so that's cooking up. We got the cream, the butter, and the, and the garlic in here right now. While mm -hmm. this is getting... Got a kind of like almost bring it to a slight ball, not a real ball, but uh -huh. a slight ball. Okay. And that's when we started adding our cheese into it. Ooh, creamy. But in the meantime, I'm gonna get ready. I love and I'm that. gonna take about maybe one third of this block of cream cheese to add into it. We're not gonna use the whole cream cheese? No. See, I would mess it up right there. I put in See, the whole cream cheese. Cause I got I got mozzarella oh, and I yes. got parmesan. Oh, oh, this about to be cheese yeah. heaven. Chicken and cheese yes. heaven. Oh my goodness. So while he's putting that in there, one don't One third of it, just one third. And we just let it melt, cook it around. Just let it melt in there and, and start bringing it to a light simmer. Mm, 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 mm. And is that doing? We'll mm, work mm. it around in there. While he's stirring that up and I'm getting hungry. What's the other dish you made? <laughs> meatloaf, it's meatloaf Ooh, Okay, so, so is the key to having a good tailgate to have lots of meat? Lots of meat and a lot of choices because not everyone That's true. is, um, you know, so they may like ground beef, but they may not want the meatloaf kind of feel. So then that's when you give them the option of just a simple meatball. Okay. And of course, if you've already made a meatball one way, mm -hmm. you don't want your meatloaf to taste the same. No, you don't. I was wondering how that was going to work. Yeah. So now <laughs> I'm going to give you mozzarella Ooh. meatloaf. Okay. Mozzarella. Because we already meatloaf. done the the pesto, right. basil, right. meatballs, and I had the Mexican cheese mixed in it. Right. So no more Mexican cheese, no this is gonna be a different cheese. option. Oh Cause you know, God. people like different cheeses. This is true. Well, yes. Dolly, pardon me. See, Dolly, what, pardon you. Once you get this to start <laughs> bubbling like this, yes. Ooh, that's when that. you turn it down. Turn it down. Turn it down. Don't to, turn it to up. To medium low, low. Just turn it down low. Okay. And Ooh. just let it marinate. Whoa. We're gonna let it marinate. The country slime. <laughs> right. So can I ask a question? Can yes, you do your meatloaf with turkey? Of course. Ground turkey or a combo of both? Yes, ma'am. Well, oh. I don't like to mix ground really? beef and turkey. No. I'm that's an alien. A, that's a no for me. Okay. But you can. Do so a turkey meatloaf. For people who say, I don't want to do ground this beef or soup. that's not for me, you will have a turkey option oh. um, for them. So you can do turkey and you can do it with pork. Some people oh, do yes. ground pork. Pork sausage. Yes. Okay, like that. So what are you putting in your, you're putting? So I'm still going to use. I'm drooling over here, by the way. It's delicious. <laughs> just, just, just get your mouth prepared. Go ahead and pour that out while I ask what cheese that don't is. Don't make me pull out my yellow flag saying you being too beautiful. Oh, excessive, oh, oh, excessive oh. beautiful business. We have right, we're about to add up. some mozzarella to it. Oh, I'm that's whole milk a, mozzarella. We just Ooh. gonna take a great big old pinch full and throw it in there. You know, and as you see, he uses the good stuff. He does, I was great. That, that's Sargento, man. Could y'all please sponsor the show? Anyways, um, that's some good cheese. So you and do- Parmesan. Ooh. Okay, you know how hard it is to work with two chefs at the same time because they both making something good. Go ahead and pour that in there. Go ahead and take the show over, baby. I yeah, got this. Right. <laughs> So he said, speaking of beautiful, I am a model. This is true. A plus size model, and mm -hmm. I sing a little bit as well. Yes, and so we're putting more breadcrumbs. So I'm gonna start with my breadcrumbs. And she ain't measuring, she just pulling. I'm not measuring, so just. Okay, I, I'm, I'm good with it. Ooh. So I'm gonna start with my breadcrumbs. Then I see, as you see, I love this. I use- Hey, what brand is that? Buttery Burger Blend. It's wow. Kinder's. I haven't seen that before, okay. <gasps> I okay. only have a little bit left. I so see you. You gonna be the rest. Of oh it. no! But that. Where do you get that? Where did you get that at? Is can is that sold at your local grocery stores? Yes. Or? Okay. You can find this at your local grocery stores. Okay. Because I've never seen Publix, it. Publix, Walmart, things of that nature. Yeah, my sauce is ready. That's looking good, Chef. My and sauce is ready. Chef Ooh, Bodyguard, daddy, that's looking good. That, that, that looks ridiculous. Okay, so now we're gonna watch him as he takes out the chicken, and you finish up with the with yes. the uh, meatloaf over here. Y'all, I'm, I'm eating good today. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Okay. I love it. I have holders. some green pepper. Oh, you put green peppers Just in Just a little that. bit. Wait, not, um, not, um, wait, those are hot green peppers or regular 
Because we this say just, bell pepper. This is just regular. Okay, regular mm -hmm. bell pepper. Ooh, and I feel the heat from the chicken coming out the oven. Y'all see that? <laughs> Look at that. Oh, he put bell peppers Ooh. and everything on top of that. Ooh. Yellow That's and beautiful. orange. That's gorgeous. Oh, my Lord. Uh, You're just gonna... Do you see that little frog on the table anywhere? There's a frog on the table, Ribbit? It's a little metal frog. I need oh. to set it on something. Uh-oh, he needs here. to set it. Oh, here it is. There it oh. is. Can you wait? Oh, over here to me, please. Me. Oh, put that over there? Yeah, please. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's my frog. He he just hops around. I need to move in. I need to move in already. <laughs> All right, so I've already put on the breadcrumbs, the green pepper, mm -hmm. and this An egg is again. a little bigger, so I'm going to use two, two eggs. eggs. Right. And while you're doing that, are we going to watch uh, Chef Bodyguard pour that cheese concoction over that, that chicken? Oh, is yes. I'll stop and watch that. Oh, Lord. Okay, this, this looks... Oh, my goodness. So you just... You just pour it over. Hold the plate up so he can see it. Oh camera. my goodness, look at that. You take a spoonful and put it over each piece of chicken. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be doing a happy dance. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Lakeisha, I'm your new other sister. <laughs> look at the cheese. That, I'm stretched. looking at that cheese. It's That's stretching. why I say that. Look at that stretchy it's cheese. Stretching. Let's just call this stretchy cheese chicken. <laughs> Let's just call it what Armstrong it is. Armstrong stretch. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Now, do people ever fight to get more cheese? Yeah. As you see, almost everything we're cooking today is <laughs> full of cheese. So yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. More cheese. Okay, so while he's doing that, well, now okay. we're going to finish up our meatloaf. So we're going to finish up our meatloaf. And you can put that right in front of me. I'm actually going to chop up an onion. Okay. Is this a sweet onion or... You use a regular, like sweet a, white onion. Sweet white onion. Okay, sweet white onion, and that looks like a quarter. Can I get your assistance for one time? Yes. I need you to put that frog in front of there. Put the frog in front yep. of there. Yeah. Put the frog there while I grab this pan. Okay, you go ahead and grab, grab the it. pan. Yes, and I'm gonna move the frog, and we're gonna put that. And we're coming into the scene. Coming in hot. Oh. With some mean leaking chicken. Ooh. Hey. Coming in hot. We gotta use that. Lord, part. are we having a car wash moment? No. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Y'all see that? Look at your that. Your taste buds should be. Oh, honey, they're beyond that. Okay, they're beyond that. Okay, and so what you gonna do with that extra cheese? <laughs> it's funny you should ask me that. <laughs> uh -oh. I had this other dish I had left over here. Oh, okay, what's the other dish? Yes, what the we got? The other yes. dish is called my potato ribs. I call them potato ribs. Potato ribs. What it is. Oh, my. Is oh, you take a big old russet potato. Uh-huh. Ooh, that's a And you take this apple core and you core the middle of it out. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I stuffed it with bacon and cheese, and I put a couple pieces of bacon on top of it. Oh my. Now, since I got some cheese sauce left over, why would I let it go oh, to waste? Lord. Why let it go to waste? Listen, I don't need no healthy people calling me, talking about why y'all eating all that food. Cause it's Super hey, Bowl. It's a Super Bowl, baby. <laughs> oh my it goodness. It ain't Thanksgiving, it's Super Bowl. Oh my goodness, he's gonna pour that over the cup. And if you think this is something, let the dolphins get in here and come back and see me then. No, they not, they not, they not. That's Baby, all right. Chef, I can wish. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with me wishing. <laughs> okay, this is wonderful. Okay, so now you put all your onions in there, chopped them up. Lord, he's putting that over the... <clears throat> yes, so all Potato. my onions. Mm -hmm. How do your eyes not cry doing that? She's used to it. I'm okay. used to it. <laughs> okay, so we got that in there. We're going to mash it all up together. And, and then for color, just to make it pretty. Prettier, you mean? Prettier. <laughs> okay. You're gonna use ooh, red, ooh, orange, ooh, and yellow. Wow. Oh my goodness. And you're gonna chop them up and put them in that yes, dish. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I'm gonna need him to put these potatoes over here. And and while you're prepping that, I'm gonna hear more about those potatoes. Now, you only made, whew, Jesus Lord have mercy, four. How fast does that food disappear in this house? I'm just asking. I'm just curious. Real fast. Don't turn your head too long. <laughs> Move your feet, lose your seat. Move your feet, lose your seat. Um, do it. If you didn't bring your teeth, it's on you. <laughs> Wait, he, we gotta bring he teeth. He wants to be a comedian. We gotta bring so. teeth. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you said you and got. This four. is my potato ribs. There, there it is, potato ribs. So literally in the center is the core of an apple. Now, with the, I take this apple core. Yes. And it's it's not as easy. No, it, that's why I'm asking you have to, to look like go it. in it and turn it around and turn it around, turn it around, go in halfway, then come in from the other way. Mm -hmm. And what you do is you take the core from the potato oh. and you put it back into it. 
so it can hold in the cheese and bacon that's in, inside of it. See, my slow behind thought it was a legit apple core. No, it's not an apple. <laughs> <laughs> it would have tasted good though. though. <laughs> but I love it. Oh my gosh. And that's real bacon. Oh, no doubt. Not, that's not turkey bacon. No, no that's, that's real bacon. bacon. Okay, now does he look like the type that was used? I'm just gonna cut one Somebody on the head so you can see me. what it looks it? like. You gotta no, turn, right? turn around so the camera can see you. Yeah. Uh oh, Let's I gotta see. put them back in there because that cheese didn't melt that good. Oh, we want the inside. cheese to melt a little more. We want it to melt a little bit more on the I'm inside, so we're gonna throw care. it back in the oven. How long do we cook that for? And what, and what temperature? I cook mine at 350 degrees mm -hmm. for, I think I did it for three hours. Three hours? Yes. Oh my, didn't you No, I'm sorry, two and a half hours, two and a half hours, I'm but sorry. Do you also, you say you usually grill these, right? Yes. Oh my gosh. So they're better on the grill, they're much better on the grill. So let's talk about that. I heard you're a grill master also. I try to be. And so you put that on the grill and you, you use mesquite or you use applewood or, what do you, or charcoal, what do you use? Most of the time I use either uh, apple or cherry. One of the two, Ooh, okay. apple or either cherry. Okay. And since I need that cheese to melt a little bit in the inside, we're gonna, we're gonna, open, we're gonna open them up a little oh bit. Oh my lord. That should only take see. about a few minutes. Yeah, see the cheese is melted better than that one. Oh my. And it's got bacon on top. I'm oh, still you need, gonna eat. Oh, it you need a little matter. sour cream. And then okay. you have a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> No heart attack. We're not, we don't want to have a heart attack. No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> my daughter said something about it earlier, so I'm just teasing. So wait, so the cheese that you put in there, is it a whole cheese stick or, or, or sliced up cheese like that? Actually, I use the um, the cheese sticks that you get for a oh, snack for kids. Yeah. I just stuff one of them in there and put a piece of bacon in there. Oh, and, and it's cheddar? Or yes, it's cheddar. Ooh. It's cheddar. Ooh. ooh, I like that. So, oh my goodness. The you meatballs look good and here. that looks good. I see there are no, um, there ain't no salad nearby. Nope. Who eats salad on <laughs> Elbow <laughs> Sunday? No. The only you salad ever... around here, on the green around here, gonna be the green on the table. We'll be betting on the game. Us. We didn't. They didn't say that out loud. Nah, they didn't say I'm that just out loud. I'm just teasing. <laughs> okay, so you're putting your peppers in there and your mushroom. I forgot to ask you, how many pounds of meat? That um, probably about two and a half. Maybe I three. Actually brought a big pound. A big, big, big pack. That's about five I'm pounds. Put this back and in I brought fifteen dollars worth. That's about of, fifteen of pounds. meat. That's about five yeah. pounds of meat right yeah. there. That's what that is right there. That's right. Because you're feeding a lot of people when you're tailgating. Yes. Okay. So, the magic of television. What do we have? So the last thing that uh -oh. I will put in. What do you? Oh, you. What is that? Mozzarella, because it's the oh, mozzarella. Yeah, I was, okay, I forgot. Meatloaf. I was just ready to eat it. <laughs> So you well, also good. get the Very stick, good. and it looks good too. You also get the big stick and you cut it up and put it in there. Yes. Okay, so while you're doing that, let me ask you, what's your favorite thing, Chef Bodyguard, mm -hmm. to prepare? Like anytime, what's your favorite Sunday, Sunday meal to prepare? Hmm, I fix this dish that's made with um, fettuccine noodles. I make my own Alfredo sauce. I use the peppers and everything, but I have three meats in it. Three meats? Yes, I have kielbasa sausage, mm, mm, mm. chicken breast, mm, mm, mm. and shrimp. And it's very good. It goes good with garlic bread, mm. the Texas toast. Oh my. I love making it. I only make it twice a year, usually in the winter time. So really? it's still cold now. You might be in love. <laughs> that, that, why do you only make it twice a year? Because it's an expensive dish. Yes, that's true. And it's a heavy dish, Ooh. and this is a wintertime dish because you know you want to get slim when it comes to summertime. You yes, know. that is true. Oh my gosh, that sounds like a divine dish. You just, you just. It's got three different meats in it. Tell us the meat again: kielbasa, kielbasa sausage, uh -huh. shrimp, shrimp. Oh. and chicken breast. I use boneless, skinless chicken breast, and I oh. cut it up. I use uh, all three of my peppers, well, four peppers: red, four. green, oh. yellow, Ooh. orange. Wow. I put the uh, the green onions in it. I chopped them up and put it in there as well. I should have changed make the my show. own sauce. I should have changed the show to that. Oh, <laughs> people be knocking on the door. Really? I don't need that okay. problem. So, oh my God, that sounds... <laughs> they will be lined up all the way out to the airport. Hey man, can I get a bowl of that? That's, that just... Mm, I, can't, I don't even have words for what that sounds like to me. <laughs> it, is, it is awesome. It I is. bet it is. It sounds it awesome. Is. So you really enjoy I cooking. I love cooking. I really wow. do. And I did really this do. come from like childhood or is this something like well, a I stress reliever from truck driving all these years? Well, there's a stress reliever since I've been retired. You know, I okay. injured my back back in 2015 okay. and I had to find something to do with my time. Mm -hmm. I spent time with my little dog, my little Yorkie. 
Oh, is that And uh, his name is Mario. He's Aww. he's a character. Big bully is what I call him. Oh, my Lord, big bully. Because he will come and make you pet him. <laughs> that and that. cooking, you know, since right. my wife is still working, mm -hmm. you know, I like to have her meal ready when she comes home. You know, I might not have it ready every day of the week, oh. but at least a couple times of the week, her mom has a <laughs> the, hot meal right. and enough to take for lunch the next day. Oh, my and goodness. when I'm behaving, I come over and just when you know, stop and get a plate. What you cooking? I good love cooking? that. I love that. So, Lakeisha, we want to see the final product as you're mixing all that cheese in there, Lord Jesus. That 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 just looks fabulous. So, is the way to a man's heart though cook through food? Is that? That's what they say. So, but apparently, also the way to a woman's heart is also through food. No, it's bring her breakfast and bread. Okay, so you know what? Right there, you know what? Your daddy is the best daddy on the planet, girl. <laughs> he all right. He all right. Okay, so we're coming down to the wire here, and yes. I wanna I wanna I wanna make sure everybody sees me eating. Yes, we I have to eat. So I'm this so is what your meatloaf will look like. Mm -hmm. And then what I do with the mozzarella, I put this, I put half and I put it in the middle of the mozzarella. Ooh, okay. And then I put this in the oven on 400 mm -hmm. and I cook it for about 50 minutes. Wow. Okay. And then halfway in the cooking time, I sprinkle just a little bit of mozzarella on top. Ooh, Ooh this is a cheese house. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I understand you have one already made for us to drill over. Of course over. I do. Oh, I cannot wait. I can't wait for you guys to see this. This is beautiful. Okay, are we ready? Oh my God. Can I, I've, I've always wanted to say this. And when she puts it down, I'm gonna say it. Are you ready, Lakeisha? I'm ready. Okay, put it down. Bam! <laughs> it's not Look at pretty, that. No. It's, it's... We're gonna eat. It doesn't even matter. We're gonna eat it. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I think your um, meatballs, meatballs are. They looking good. Ready? They now, looking good. With the meatballs, do you put anything on them, or you just it's just eat it like that, like no? I sauce? just let them. Sometimes that. people Beautiful. like marinara sauce. Right. So I may have a dipping of marinara oh, sauce, but sauce. I, I like it just the way it is. But some people like extra, and clearly we love extra. Okay, okay. so now I'm gonna need a plate. Yes, ma'am. Give her a plate. Please. I'm gonna need to. I'm going in, y'all. This is my favorite part of the show. I like to eat. <laughs> okay, so we got to recap. We have a quarter chicken. Mm. This is the this is the mozzarella. Pepper was that? Oh, uh, it's Parmesan garlic Parmesan, mozzarella's it. chicken. Oh, Parmesan, Jesus! And we got the mozzarella. Mozzarella meatloaf. And over there that I'm going to be having fun eating is the potato. I call attack. it the potato rib. The potato rib. Also known as the heart attack. Because it's like a rib coming out the side of it. Oh Lord! And then we have in the oven. We have my pesto basil meatballs. Okay, go ahead and stack my plate. Okay, what, right. we do, what we doing? What we doing? We're stacking plates now. We need not get this first. There's one knife oh, to Bring it over here. I'm going to put this on there first. It's, yes, Lord. I like it, it to be a little bit more melted. So, that's I mean, all right. It is what it is. We have a thing called a microwave. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> I'm more interested in the um, bacon and the potato itself. But I'm going to eat, eat everything that now, you give me. What piece would you like? I like a small piece of the center. Thank you kindly. Okay. Look, I said small. Okay. <laughs> She's trying to pay her rent. <laughs> She's trying, <laughs> she trying to pay her rent. Oh my goodness! You remember Uncle, Uncle Bernard said at that time when I gave a big to piece of chocolate cake? Oh, chocolate. you trying to? I had this big chocolate cake I got from this lady. He oh, said, I, I was going to say, you said, you trying to? Too? You trying to bake that? Uh, pay your rent okay. with that chocolate cake? Look, I'm still standing here with my my plate in my hand. Y'all, I want to thank y'all for tuning in to the show, but I'm about to eat this here piece of um, tater and meatloaf. And I need a fork because I'm about to go in on this. I'm doing a little bit of everybody. All right, you gotta get a piece of this chicken. I gotta chicken get a piece here. of the. Yes, I do. Uh oh, we, we want to pull this to the side. Uh -oh. We pull this to the side. That's right. That's all right. This, this is the magic of television. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all! For your tailgate, right? And then Lakeisha's gonna put a meatball on here for me in a second. If you want to have just sit on the can over there. The meatiest. Yeah. Tailgate for the Super Bowl. Watch the bread. Watch the bread. I think these dishes are perfect. Look at this. You you gonna be asleep in five minutes. You're yeah. not even gonna meatball. watch the end of the show. Get a meatball. Put my meatball on there. Put it on there. Listen, to it. look at this. Yeah. Can y'all hear the pan? Y'all can't hear the pan sizzling, but I can. Look at that. Just go ahead and slap it on there. Bam. Bam. Look, let me move everything out my way. <laughs> Put some of those ingredients back in. Y'all gotta move everything out my way. I gotta I gotta get in here. Let me get in here. Do okay. your thing. Ain't nothing but a chicken Ain't wing. But a chicken wing. Let's Give see. me a piece. Oh, Give me goodness. some grease. I, I need love to your piece. 
Oh, no, I was trying to put oh, some of the stuff back in the refrigerator. Okay, y'all can um, y'all can talk amongst yourselves, cause and let that meatball cool off now. It's fresh out of the oven. Did mm -hmm. I hear them taste buds mm -hmm. dancing? See y'all later. Mm -mm. Go ahead, keep talking. I'm eating. Bye bye. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm. See y'all next time. <laughs>